हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू गाइज आई होप यू आर स्टेइंग सेफ ओके बी सेफ सो दैट यू कैन वॉच माई वीडियोज ओके माई नेम इज पुष्प पंडित एंड यू आर वॉचिंग मी ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल बींग बुकिश लेट मी स्टार्ट दिस सेशन विथ अ ब्यूटिफुल हार्ट दिस हार्ट इज फॉर यू ओके सो नाउ लेट मी स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो सेशन नाउ in this video i am going to answer you a very good question what is that question that why the electronic configuration of some elements what are they like potassium electronic configuration of potassium if you have read it is 2881 but the question is in the third cell understand it carefully in the third cell that is in the m shell we can have a maximum of 18 electrons then why it is not 2 comma 8 comma 9 the electronic configuration for potassium why it is 2 comma 8 comma 8 comma 1 why the ninth one is transferred to the next cell now friends just a small request from you that if you do not know anything about electronic configuration means what is electronic configuration how do we find the electronic configuration then please watch my first video in which i have already taught that what is electronic configuration and how do we find the electronic configuration from the very low level to the advanced level i have taught you okay not for views for your better understanding okay only okay so you will get the link here in the i card or you can find the link in the description box too but if you already know what is electronic configuration means if you have already watched my video then continue in this video okay now let me start from where i left in the last video means in the last video i taught you the electronic configuration the atomic number 12 so in this video i am going to give you the electronic configuration from 13 to atomic number 20 okay so answer me if you know what is the electronic configuration of aluminium the first question should be how many electrons are there how many electrons are there in aluminium i have already taught you that this electron is equal to its atomic number so this is the symbol of aluminium so aluminium has 13 electrons how many electrons 13 electrons and we know that there are four cells i am just recalling it okay i am just recalling it for you we have four shells the first is k shell which can hold only two electrons then there comes the second shell which can hold only eight electrons third cell which can hold only 18 electrons and what the last cell means how much electrons the last cell can hold 32 electrons very good it can hold 32 electrons so aluminium has 13 electrons the first two electron will go in the k shell so first two electrons went to the k shell how many electrons left after the two electrons went to the k shell we have 11 electrons which are left so out of the 11 8 will go in the l shell 2 comma 8 means 8 gone to the l cell still we have three electrons which are still remaining okay so now this three electrons will go in the m cell so all the electrons went means after the third electron means after the three electrons went to the m cell we have how many electrons left zero electron that means we have completed the electronic configuration for aluminium okay now it's time to find the electronic configuration of silicon so silicon has how many electrons that should be the first question how many electrons does does the atom contain so silicon contains 14 electrons as you can clearly see so silicon has 14 electrons the first two electrons will go in the k shell now do this in mind how many electrons left after the two electrons went to the k shell we have still 12 electrons which are still remaining so out of 
8 will go in the L cell. So 8 went to the 8 cell. L cell sorry. Still we have 4 electrons which are still remaining. So that 4 electrons will go in the M cell. Okay. See in the process I will answer your question. But see how the electronic configuration will change for potassium and calcium. Okay. Now we have phosphorus. So 2 comma 8 will be same. Okay, 2 comma 8 will be same. Now where will the 5 electrons will go? In the M shell because it can hold total of 18 electrons. So it can also hold 5 electrons. So its electronic configuration for phosphorus is 2 comma 8 comma 5. Now what is the electronic configuration of sulfur? First you will ask how many electrons lie in sulfur atom and that you can clearly see 16 electrons because I have already told that this atomic number is equal to its electron okay so 2 comma 8 it's now very easy that 2 comma 8 this is same as you can see the pattern here this is same now where will the sixth electron go where will the sixth electron go in the third cell or you can say it as in the M cell. So electronic configuration of sulfur is 2 comma 8 comma 6. Okay. Now the 17th atomic numbers atom is chlorine. This is the symbol for chlorine. Remember this. Okay. So how to find the electronic configuration for chlorine? How many electrons are there in the chlorine? 17 electrons. So the first two will go in the K cell. 8 will go in the L cell how many electrons left 7 electrons and the, that 7 electrons will go in the M shell so very easy what is the electronic configuration of chlorine 2 comma 8 comma 7 now it's time for argon this is argon what is the electronic configuration of argon this is going to be same 2 comma 8 is going to be same that I am 100% sure that you have understood it, understood it till now. Okay. How many electrons are still left? 8 electrons are still left to do the electronic configuration. So that 8 electron will go in the M shell. Understand this concept that when the electron is completed in the cell and if some more electrons are still remaining, that electron is transferred to the next atom sorry next cell so that eight electrons will go in the next cell which is the m cell so its electronic configuration for argon is 2 comma 8 comma 8 now it's time for the biggest thing what is the biggest thing that how to do the electronic configuration of potassium and calcium so let us have a look at them also now for those students who have not understood the question only see here what the question is let me do the electronic configuration and then the question would be more clear okay if normally if we are going to do the electronic configuration for potassium it should be 2 comma 8 so 10 electrons went how many electrons are still remaining 9 electrons are still remaining so these 9 electrons can be holded by the m electron yes or no the 9 electrons can be holded or not by the M shell. Obviously yes. Why? Because it can hold maximum of 18 electrons. And we are trying to give it only 9 electrons. So it will say why not? I will hold the 9 electrons. So if we talk normally, the electronic configuration for potassium would be what? 2 comma 8 comma 9. But this is not correct. This is not correct. Similarly for calcium, if you talk about its electronic configuration, what we think should be 2 comma 8 comma 10, 2 comma 8 comma 10 completes 20 electrons. Okay, but this is also not correct. Why it is not correct? Why this is not correct? Means if the M shell can already contain maximum of 80 electrons, then why it can't hold 8? 10 or 9 electrons there is a rule you need to understand what is that rule what is that rule this is the rule what is that rule 
octet rule this is the reason why we are not able to do the electronic configuration for potassium and calcium like we wanted okay so this is the person or the rule behind all that what this rule says that there can be only eight electrons in the last cell okay note my words very carefully there can be only maximum of eight electrons in the last cell see for potassium what we thought the electronic configuration would be it should be like 2 comma 8 comma 9 but this rule says that the last cell for this electron or for this atom the last cell is this but this rule says that the last cell can contain maximum of 8 electrons only maximum of 8 electrons only and so that is why it cannot hold 9 electron there is also a reason why it cannot contain more than 8 electron see if you are in class 9 or 10 then this is answer is for you see there is something called stability okay there is something called stability stability of what stability of atom atom is more stable when it has 8 electrons in its last cell what i told atom is more happy or atom is very happy when it has eight electrons in the last cell this is why it is more stable when it has eight electrons in the last cell and so for that stability we do not add more than eight electrons in the last cell understood so this was the rule and the reason why behind we are unable to do the electronic configuration for potassium like this now what is the actual electronic configuration of potassium 2 comma 8 first let me write down the atomic number also potassium's electronic uh, atomic number is 19 so 2 comma 8 this is clear i think this is clear okay so 2 comma 8 is the electronic configuration now the last cell can contain only 8 electrons so we will give 8 electrons to m cell not more than that because it is in between okay so we cannot give more than 8 electrons in this shell or any shell we cannot give more than 8 electrons okay so now still one electron is remaining if you calculate this 2 plus 8 is 10 8 plus 8 is uh, 10 plus 8 is 18 so still we have one electron which is still left so that one electron will go in the next cell i have already told you that when there is excess of electron it is transferred to the next cell so one electron is transferred to the n cell and now this is what the real answer of what is the electronic configuration of potassium and why the electronic configuration of potassium is like this okay i hope the answer is clear so similarly the electronic configuration of calcium would be 2 comma 8 comma 10 is it so no its electronic configuration would be 2 comma 8 comma 8 electrons we are given to this cell and still we have two electrons which are left so that two electron will go in the n cell okay so its electronic configuration is 2 comma 8 comma 8 comma 2 okay i hope you really got what i really wanted to tell okay what was the reason behind that why we are unable to do the electronic configuration for calcium potassium like this okay so friends this was all from today's video i hope that you understood and noted all the points which i have explained you in this video for my upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you really appreciate the video my efforts please like the video and comment me if you want any changes in my video okay thank you